This is the Anheuser-Busch Brewery in St. Louis, Missouri. It's one of Anheuser-Busch Breweries brewing and packaging some of the finest beer in the world. Right here in St. Louis, we've been brewing since 1852. Today, this is the largest single brewery in the world. So we've gained a wealth of experience in brewing, shipping, handling, and serving beer. Beer, as you know, is processed from grain, hops, yeast, and water. Natural food components that give it its color, foam, nutritive value, and refreshing taste. Thus, beer requires the same care in packaging and handling as any other food product, including special attention to cleanliness and temperature. Our fine beers leave the brewery at the peak of perfection, never hurried through the brewing process, never stored for long periods of time after packaging. When packaged, they're at their best in flavor and aroma. But both flavor and aroma can be impaired by improper handling and serving. This is where you come into the picture. For flavor and aroma are affected to a great extent by how you handle and serve the beer you sell. We'd like to concentrate with you for a few minutes on recommended handling and serving techniques. And take a look at how beer can be affected if it isn't handled properly. Let's start with the storeroom. This is how a well-cared-for, on-premise storeroom might look. And here's an ideal storage area in a package or food store. While these storerooms are different in size and some other characteristics, they share the basic qualities which ensure proper storage of beer. Both of these storerooms are cool, dark, dry, and clean. It's important that the storeroom be cool because the temperature at which packaged beer is stored determines the length of time the beer will retain its original brewery fresh taste. The most desirable storage temperature range is between 40 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The aroma and flavor of the beer change rapidly as temperatures approach 100 degrees or more. Making sure your storeroom is as dark as possible helps prevent beer from becoming light struck. When bottled beer is exposed to light, it takes on an undesirable aroma. The darker the room, the less chance there is that this will happen. Sunlight will noticeably affect bottled beer in a few hours. That's why you should never expose it to the direct rays of the sun. The intensity of the light determines the speed at which that light will affect the beer undesirably. Canned beer, of course, isn't affected by light. Direct rays of the sun will, however, cause overheating, which can change the aroma and taste of the beer. Your storeroom should be dry to protect cartons from dampness. When cartons become damp or wet, breakage of bottles or damage to cans may occur. Dampness can cause some bottle crowns to rust. It can also affect cans in this way, resulting in unsightly and unsaleable packages. This is also why you want your storeroom to be clean. Cleanliness keeps cartons presentable and attractive. Dirty cartons are objectionable. They create sales resistance. Beer that is stored in a dirty area can accumulate dust and odors on the bottles and cans, resulting in loss of eye and buy appeal. Keep your storeroom cool, dark, dry, and clean, and you'll have gone a long way toward handling packaged beer in the best way possible, from the time of delivery until you use it. Let's move on to the next point of consideration, stock rotation. This is important all the way from the storeroom to the customer's glass. Stock rotation. Arranging your beer so you always use the oldest stock first. Beer, no matter what brand, just doesn't improve with age once it's in the bottle or can. It's no different from any other food product. The fresher, the better. When beer is not properly rotated, it gets too old. It loses some of its original aroma and flavor. Stock rotation is important in every storage area. 
in the underbar cooler and the back bar cooler and on the grocery shelf in the refrigerators. And stock rotation is equally important in tavern take-home departments and product displays. Just remember the basic rule of stock rotation and apply it to every case, can, and bottle you sell. Use oldest stock first. Mark each lot of beer in the storeroom with a date of delivery. Don't stack new shipments in front or on top of beer already in the storeroom. When reloading shelves or coolers, remove and replace the older stock in front of or on top of the fresh beer so it will be used first. Your customers will appreciate the brewery fresh taste if you follow the rule, use oldest stock first. Now, let's move on to another important topic for those who want to increase the sale of the fine beers they handle, serving. The appearance, taste, and bouquet of the bottle of beer you sell means everything to your business. This glass of beer is what handling beer properly is all about. How you cool it, open it, pour it, and the glassware you serve it in are the keys to customer satisfaction and increased sales. Let's start with proper cooling. Although most people couldn't tell you exactly how cold they like their beer, the drinking temperature most widely accepted is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. In some localities, however, Consumers prefer beer that is a few degrees colder or warmer, a difference too small to affect the basic taste or quality. When beer is served too cold or too warm, its appeal to the average consumer is lessened and the consumption is reduced. A mechanical cooler should be set to cool the beer to 38 degrees so that a serving temperature of 40 degrees is assured. Some people wonder if it's all right to re-chill beer. Well, how about it? No problem. Go ahead and re-chill it. Unless cold beer is allowed to warm to 80 to 100 degrees over a period of time, you can re-chill it with no change in taste. Do you make a practice of pouring beer for your customers? If so, here's a tip. Don't pour it down the side of the glass. Pouring this way confines the carbonation and will have a tendency to give the beer a sharp and bitey taste. To fully enjoy the brewery fresh taste and the pleasing aroma of the beer, pour it right smack dab down the middle so that a good head of foam is formed. The same thing goes for pouring canned beer. While we're on the subject, make sure the glasses in which you serve your beer are beer clean. Flush, brush, rinse and drain. Exact procedures for getting glasses beer clean are covered in another Anheuser-Busch film, which is available upon request. We've covered just about everything that's important to know about proper handling and serving of a fine glass of beer. A glass of beer your customers will enjoy. Now, let's take a quick look at what can happen if beer is not handled properly and the easy solutions. This is a cloudy glass of beer. It's hazy. It's lost the natural sparkle and brilliance that make beer an appetizing beverage. Just compare. How does beer become cloudy? It can only happen in one of two ways. First, when it's been stored too long, when the stock hasn't been rotated properly. And second, when it has been exposed to high storage temperatures. It's not until the beer is cooled that it turns cloudy, and you usually can't tell it's cloudy by looking at an unopened bottle. So open one, pour a glass. If you've ever experienced cloudy beer, check to make sure you're rotating stock at all levels and watch storage temperatures. A second problem that can show up is beer with an off odor, often called skunky beer, and there's just one cause, light. 
beer can become light struck in many places. From natural sunlight, from close proximity to artificial lights, such as lights in refrigerated cabinets. The answer is, keep your beer out of light as much as possible. Flat beer is another problem that can hurt appetite appeal of the beer you sell. There are two different kinds of flatness, in appearance and taste. A glass of beer can look flat because it's been poured down the side or has been cooled to a very low temperature. A dirty glass can make beer look and taste flat. The carbonation will escape after the beer has been poured if your glassware isn't beer clean. Notice how that head is dissolving. The grease on the side of this glass is releasing the CO2 bubbles in the beer. Another way beer goes flat, when it is opened in advance of its use. Open beer only at the time it is to be served. We've talked about the importance of avoiding low temperatures. If beer drops below 28 degrees, it will freeze. Be sure to check the crown to see that freezing hasn't popped it, making the beer go flat. If the crown's intact, let the frozen beer thaw. Then turn it upside down several times to remix it. However, sometimes when you remix frozen beer, flakes appear. So pour a bottle or two. If it's clear, well and good. If it's flaky, it's unsaleable. Here's another common problem, chipped bottlenecks. If you've ever had a rash of chipped bottlenecks, especially among several different brands, the probable cause is your bottle opener. Faulty or worn openers, or poorly designed openers, cause frequent chipping and cracking of necks and should be replaced. Ever have problems with foaming over or gushing beer? This most frequently occurs when the beer is too cold or unrotated. Unrotated stock has a greater tendency to foam over than fresh beer. Rough handling of bottles during or after opening may also cause beer to gush over. If you hold this type of bottle at the bottom, you automatically flip the bottle as it opens. This jostles the beer just as the pressure is released and it gushes. Gushing canned beer usually results from the can being jiggled or dropped just prior to opening. If this can had been put back in the cooler for a few minutes, it would have opened easily with no foaming over. If you serve customers at tables, it's best to open the bottles at the table just before the beer is poured. A little tapping and jiggling won't hurt a closed bottle of beer because it's still under pressure. When it's opened, nothing happens. But let's see what happens with an open bottle. The small amount of jiggling or bouncing on the way to a table produces this result. Foaming over, the customer who gets this bottle of beer could feel cheated. Here's a graphic example of what a bottle of beer can take before it's opened because it's still under pressure. You can roll it, tap it, and when you open it, no foaming. All is well. But tap it after it's open, and it gushes. Now, let's review the five key points. Freshness is all important. Rotate stock in the storeroom, pre-cooler, and cooler. When it comes to temperature, never let your beer get too warm or too cold. Light, avoid it as much as possible. Cleanliness, keep storerooms clean and dry to protect packages. Keep your bar area clean and odor free. Serving, keep bottles capped tightly until served. Open bottles carefully with a good opener, 
or with a flourish into the middle of a beer clean glass. We sincerely hope this film will help you handle and sell the best glass of beer in town. The beer retailer who uses a little extra care in handling and dispensing beer properly will satisfy his customers and enjoy a better and more profitable business. Just remember, when it comes to the difference between a good glass of beer and a great glass of beer, it's how it's handled.